In few states, the BJP government is forcing Muslims owners of restaurants to, to display their Muslim names at their eateries. Due to growing hate against Muslims, they fear it will bring more problems for them. We have seen those, those reports. We have also seen the reports that the Indian Supreme Court on July 22nd and interim stay on the implementation of those rules, so they're not actually in effect now. We have engaged uh, with our Indian counterparts on the importance of equal treatment for members of all religious communities. Sir, Indian media is reporting that in few states, the BJP government is forcing Muslims owners of restaurants to, to display their Muslim names at their eateries. But due to growing hate against Muslims, they fear it will bring more problems for them. What are your thoughts when you see such kind of actions by any government? Uh, so we have seen those, those reports. We have also seen the reports that the Indian Supreme Court on July 22nd in, issued an interim stay on the implementation of those rules. So they're not actually in effect now. Um, at, speaking generally, we are, uh, as we always say, committed to promoting and prom uh, respecting universal, uh, promoting and protecting, I should say, universal respect for the right of freedom of religion and belief for all anywhere in the world. And we have engaged uh, with our Indian counterparts on the importance of equal treatment for members of all religious communities. The U.S. Commission on Religious Freedom once again urged Biden administration to list India as a country of concern. Uh, this request has been ongoing for the past three years. Uh, according to several U.S. commissioners, uh, their visas have been denied uh, by Indian High Commission in D.C., uh, they wanted to go there to monitor the ground realities on religious freedom. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, so I'm not going to speak to a specific visa um, decision. I'm not aware of the facts of, it, of those specific things. But when it comes to uh, religious freedom designations, that is a process that we take seriously. And we announce the conclusions every year in our annual report.